Okay, so this video is going to show you how to control camera zoom using the scroll wheel. So there's two basic ways of doing this. One, if you click on the camera and you look at the various components in the inspector, you'll notice one that says field of view. You can see the camera preview here. Watch what happens when we shrink the field of view. Effectively, you zoom in without actually changing the position of the camera. The other thing that you can do is you can actually change the position of the camera. And what you'll see is the Y and the Z coordinates increase. And why? Because Z is coming out this way diagonally and Y is up and down. So again, watch the preview. Effectively, it's the same thing. So depending on the requirements of your game, you might need to not move the camera. Or maybe you do need to move the camera. It's up to you. So I'm going to show you both ways and you can decide which one works out for you. So since it's the camera that we're messing around with, that is what needs the script. So create C sharp and we'll call it zoom cam. We'll put it on to the camera. And in the update section, because every single frame we want to check to see if you're trying to zoom, we'll put this in. If input dot get axes, parenthesis, quote, mouse, space, scroll wheel, quote. So uh, make sure there's a space there and make sure M, S, W are all um make sure they're all capitalized because this is case sensitive. So if the scroll wheel is greater than zero, and if you're scrolling up, it's greater than zero, we want to be able to zoom in. So, oops, sorry about that. My cursor jumped. So we said get component, and we said the camera component And we said it was the field of view attribute. And there is a very old way, comes back from the original C, um, how to uh, increase or decrease a value by the number one. If you use a double plus sign or a double negative sign, you can increase or decrease a number respectively. So in this case, if we're scrolling the wheel up, that's typically zoom in. To zoom in, we have to make the field of view smaller. So we'll put a double negative sign there, save it, and that's actually all it should take just to do the basic zoom in. We haven't done zoom out yet. So I'm going to scroll the wheel, and there we go, zooming in. So now what we do is we just copy this and paste it. And now we simply make it less than zero. And we want it to plus plus. So as you can see, it now zooms in or out. Okay, next one. What we'll do is we can just remark that out. Double slash turns it into a remark. That way you don't, rather than deleting code, you know, a game like, depending on what kind of game you're working on, but presuming it's a relatively small game, you don't have to worry about a little extra code in there that you remarked out. It's not like you have to save space. So Now the next thing is uh, we said we're going to try this by changing the position because in the case of like an MMO, the camera doesn't just zoom down in, it actually also tilts. So this one's going to be a lot messier. So we're still doing get component. 
but we're changing the actual position. Oops, sorry, it's transform is the name of the component. Again, it's get component, so you put the name of the component first, and then the attribute position. And this is a vector 3. So it's three coordinates, an X and a Y and a Z. Now, as we said, we want to keep the X the same because you're not moving the camera left or right. You're moving the camera vertically up and down or you're zooming in along the Z axis. So this is going to be a little messy. Basically, we have to look at your current position, extract X, not change it, extract Y, change it, extract Z and change it. So the way you extract values, uh, like a single vector from a, a, a variable that is multiple vectors, well, in this case, it's transform and it's position, like as it says over to the left there, but we only want the X. So we are, what we're saying is the, the when you use the scroll wheel, the new position should have an X position that is the same as the current. So keep the current X position the same. So now we're going to extract the Y position from the current position. But that one, so if we're scrolling in, then really want Y to be lessened. Now we can't just use minus minus here because that would drop it by a whole unit, which is too much. Let's change it by say minus, let's say 0.3. F. So that's the X coordinate, the Y coordinate, now the Z co coordinate. Again, transform dot position dot Z. And this one is actually positive because you're moving positively towards the character. Now that would be um, so plus, we'll also use. 0.3. So it looks horrible, but keep in mind it's really the same concept repeated twice. You've extracted the y, the x coordinate, you've extracted the y coordinate, and you've extracted the z coordinate, but you're modifying them uh, differently. This has no modification. This has a 0.3. This has a 0.3. You might find that you actually have to change these at different amounts. That's relative to your, your game. So now let's watch that first. And again, you're zooming in. So in this case, it looks like you're probably zooming Z a little bit too much, or you're zooming uh, Y not enough. So let's make that more like 0.2. Now, it might not seem like much of a difference because it was only 0.3 but you've just changed it by one third. So keep that in mind that sometimes changes seem small, but they're actually quite substantial. See, and now you're going right to the center. So it makes a big difference. Now just rinse and repeat. But this one will be plus and this one will be minus so now you should be able to zoom in and out so far so good but like we said in an MMO usually the camera doesn't just zoom down on top of you like that like in a dungeon crawl the angle also changes. So once we change the angle, we might have to find that we have to change the other variables, particularly the Y, a little bit more. All right, so now we're going to build on this. So now this is going to be transform.rotate. And what transform.rotate does is it's a relative command. It says whatever the current rotation is, change it by this amount. And it also is a vector 3. So in this case, it is the X that you want to rotate on. So if we'll try this, and if it's the wrong direction, we can fix it easy enough. So we don't want to rotate X. Uh, excuse me. We don't want to rotate Y. We don't want to rotate Z. We want to rotate X. Save it.
See how the, see how the uh, angle is changing? But yeah, it is the wrong way. So it should have been... Actually, I messed up. I had them both uh, be positive anyways. So... Again, we're going to zoom in. And there we go. So that's much more uh, MMO-ish. Um, now, it, as I said, once we started changing the angle, we might have to change the other ones. And you can see that, yeah, we need to drop Y much faster. So let's make that 0 0.6. 0 .6. And remember, if you make a change to one, you have to make a change to the other. So these should be complete inverses. Much better. So now you're like zooming in. See how you're like behind the player? So even that's a little bit off. Uh, then again, this is also just a cube. Your, your character is not going to be a cube. They're going to be more elongated, taller, thinner. So as you can see, so two entirely different approaches. One, you just zoom straight in, and the other one lets you control uh, the rotation, uh, the tilt, or the pitch of the camera, whichever the proper term is. Sorry, I'm not in uh, telephone production, but... Uh, you're changing the rotation of the camera as well, so is that you're zooming in from behind them. And actually, if you keep zooming in, you basically go into a first-person perspective. And some games let you do that, go from a third to a first. So uh, this is very helpful for both of those. So I think that's about it. That's really all I wanted to demonstrate. So it's really that easy to control the, uh, the rotation with the scroll wheel. Uh, it's very handy that it actually lets you type out mouse scroll wheel rather than trying to put in a key code or anything like that. Um, and the other thing is that it's very easy to rotate. The only thing that's messy is this. You have to get your head around the fact that you are extracting the current coordinates and then modifying them one at a time. Because it looks like a mess, but it's really three numbers. Again, the X coordinate is there, comma, Y coordinate, comma, Z coordinate. All right, that should do it. If you have any questions, just let me know. And that's it for this video.